They're literally financing the interest. They ain't even touched the principal yet. They set it up like this. So why do I want a loan? If you're charging me a thousand percent interest, I can't pay it back. You're making me push gay sex on all of my children. I can't protect any of my indigenous markets, which means I'm going to be importing your crap when I should be making my own. How is that helping us? And that's why the more aid Africa gets, the worse off Africa becomes. What they say, give a man a fish, he eat for a day. Teach a man a fish, he eat for a lifetime. They giving Africa a fish. They're not teaching them how. Mm. Welcome to Wake Up Black. Educate and enlighten. There's nothing in America Africa needs. Minerally speaking, there's nothing in South America. You understand, Africa could be self-contained. And that's why America can never let us stand up on our own two feet. They call it aid. They're always giving Africa aid. It's not aid, it's sabotage. Mm -hmm. Because whenever they give Africa aid, they require three things. You know what they require? Number one, family planning strategies, LGBT and transgenderism. If you don't That's push, why they want Uganda to yes, be LGBT. Yes, yes. If you don't push LGBT and transgenderism, we're not giving you no money. Well, what money got to do with gay sex? Because I need to pollute the minds of your children so they stop reproducing themselves because the white man has a long-term 500-year plan to one day rid the world of all black people so white people can leave Europe and come live in Africa. Hmm. They want to depopulate Africa, which I don't think could ever happen, but they could damn sure make it very uncomfortable for us. You see that. Mm -hmm. That's why they went to LGBTQ and the transgenders there, right? So that's number one, family planning. And also you have Planned Parenthood International in Africa paying for women to get hysterectomies and abortions for free. Mm. Uh -huh. I and, was in South Africa. They, they also gave them $6 billion between 1990 and 2000, yeah, yeah. $6 billion worth of contraceptives. Absolutely, absolutely. Mostly birth control and, intra, and, and implants. Messing the women's hormones up, giving them cancer and everything else. Oh, they all in Africa trying to reduce it. But again, we can reproduce so easily, they having trouble, right? Mm -hmm. So number one is family planning. Number two, free market. Mm -hmm. Free market. That means what? You live in a country that makes its own salt, right? Senegal got its own salt. So you don't want no salt company coming into Senegal. Why? Because we have our own salt, so we need to keep an industry of our own so we can have jobs and money for our people. You know what America says? I give you this $1 million. You can't protect none of your industries. Morton salt and every other salt could come. You in Nigeria, you got your own chicken farm, right? You don't want nobody selling chicken. No, no, no. Purdue chicken, uh, Island Farm chicken. What they do is they sabotage your indigenous markets to make you dependent on the white man. So countries that grow tea importing somebody else's tea. Country that got their own chickens importing somebody else's chicken. Somebody make their own oil importing somebody else's oil. This is what America does all in the name of what aid. So is the aid really helping Africa? No, it's destroying you. And the last thing they do is the interest rate. I'm going to give you a million dollars, but guess what the interest rate is? A thousand percent. You're never paying me off. Then you have control over Do you know money. most African countries have only been financing the interest on the debt? They haven't even touched the debt? They're literally financing the interest. They ain't even touched the principal yet. They set it up like this. So why do I want a loan if you're charging me a thousand percent interest? I can't pay it back. You're making me push gay sex on all of my children. I can't protect any of my indigenous markets, which means I'm going to be importing your crap when I should be making my own. How is that helping us? And that's why the more aid Africa gets, the worse off Africa becomes. What they say, give a man a fish you eat for a day. Teach a man a fish you eat for a lifetime. They giving Africa a fish. They're not teaching them how. Mm. That's powerful. And bro. Africa don't even need to be taught. They just need to be left the hell alone to do for themselves. The white man will not leave Africa alone to do for herself because white supremacy depends on a subservient Africa. As Africa stands, white power structure fall. That's why they killed Gaddafi. Because Gaddafi was going to work with the sub-Saharan African presidents to create a Central African bank backed by the wealth of Africa. Do you know how wealthy an African currency would be backed by the resources of the richest continent on earth? It would take all the power from the U.S. It would take, it would take the power from the world. Hmm. That's why Gaddafi had to die. Why you ain't seen another African leader come forward to try to pick up where he left off? Mm -hmm. They're afraid of assassination. Well, well what about the uh, leader of Burkina Faso? Ibrahim Trahore, I think he's probably the greatest Pan-Africanist alive right now because he's doing the work, not just talking. Uh, I wish him well. I hope one day I can meet him. I hope he's sincere. I believe he is. And it's not just him. You also got the other uh, presidents right around in that area. Mm -hmm. uh, Niger. Niger. Uh, uh, who else you got? Burkina Faso. Niger. Uh, Kwame Sekoutoure. Guinea. Guinea. Niger. Burkina Faso. Mali. 
and it's and I think it's another one. And they started their own little African federation. My only concern is everybody in that thing incorruptible. Because the one thing you need to be a leader, not only courage and integrity, you must be uncorruptible. Malcolm was incorruptible. Garvey was incorruptible. You follow me? If you don't have incorruptibility, they're going to tempt you with money, tempt you with women, tempt you with death. You got to be incorruptible. I hope they are. If they are, they can do something great for Africa. But if there's one weak link in that chain, it's going to fall. I hope they are real. And I hope Ibrahim Chirahore is really keeping a close grip on who he has around him because, you know, they, they keep trying to get him because mm -hmm. France is angry. Yeah. French is pissed off. Yeah. So I'm hoping, you know, and um, I'm hoping that the ancestors keep him protected. Yeah.